I can only imagine what it was like for the people that were there at the time. Um, they had nowhere to go um, and a, an absolutely terrible experience for them. While authorities in New Zealand say eight people still missing and presumed dead after that volcano eruption this week. And gunfire rings out in a New Jersey neighborhood claiming several lives, including an officer. More on those stories in just a bit. Thanks for joining us for Action 10 News at 6. I'm Andy Lascano. And I'm Brenda Matuti. Human traffickers are, quote, masters of deception. That's according to New Life Refuge Ministries, who fight child sex trafficking and modern day slavery. Well, the nonprofit says a social media post that's gone viral is not happening in our area. Let's get more now from our Crystal Dominguez, who joins us in the studio with details. This is an interesting story. Sure, and the woman who posted this is from the College Station area. She says after leaving the mall in Bryan College in that area, she saw that her windshield wipers were zip tied together. She says law enforcement told her human traffickers do this to distract women so they can abduct them. So is the same thing happening here in town? CCPD says no. We have seen that um, posted on social media. It is not the truth. We have not received any reports of that particular manner of abduction. Tina Canary, who is the operations manager for New Life Refuge Ministries, says human traffickers usually target and identify their victims first. The snatch and grab does occur, uh, but primarily the traffickers will utilize the developing of the relationship. New Life is a nonprofit against child sex trafficking and modern day slavery. Canary says sex traffickers tend to fulfill an artificial relationship, convincing the victim that it's real. She says human traffickers are not always targeting a woman who is alone, but children and men too. During the holiday season, people are distracted. Uh, you want to be careful and watch your kids, uh, pay attention for the situational awareness, whether you're loading your car or you're out and shopping. Um, just make sure that you know. She says the real scare are women who are targeted through rideshare companies. But a single person, female especially, should not be riding alone. Executive Director Minta Moore says they've seen sex traffickers using ride sharing in the Corpus Christi area. This crime happens right here in Corpus Christi. Unfortunately, it happens um, more often than any of us know, and often our victims are walking around right beside us and we just don't know enough to recognize them. The nonprofit says the tragic truth behind it all is that human trafficking wouldn't be an issue if the demand didn't drive the crime. I tell people if it doesn't seem right, it's probably not right. Officials with the Corpus Christi Police Department say they don't like to play into the hype of social media posts that are not affecting our area, but they do want to alert the public to be aware of their surroundings at all times. Now, January is National Human Trafficking Prevention and Awareness Month. New Life Refuge Ministries will host events all month long and offer education and training for schools, youth groups, churches, and businesses. They say there's not a group that doesn't need to hear about this crime. In studio, Crystal Dominguez, Action 10 News. Thank you, Crystal. A shooting erupted in New Jersey neighborhood, killing six people. This New Jersey neighborhood had the look of a war zone. Heavily armed police swarmed as gunfire rang out. An officer, two potential suspects, and three potential bystanders were killed. Two officers were shot. Um, one recently gave his life uh, and was pronounced at the Jersey City Medical Center. And uh, the second officer uh, was shot in the shoulder and uh, he should recover. And then two other officers are uh, receiving medical treatment due to uh, shrapnel. Officers evacuated terrified bystanders. The neighborhood, including a Catholic school, was put on lockdown. The man accused of killing of uh, the man accused of killing two men made his first court appearance. The magistrate judge told Jose Luis Ramirez he's charged with capital murder of mur multiple people. His bond set at a million dollars. Ramirez told the judge he would hire his own attorney. Police believe that Ramirez shot and killed Daniel Garza and George Soto at a home on Elgin Street on Thursday. U.S. Marshals arrested Ramirez the next day. House Democrats have announced two articles of impeachment against President Trump. They stem from the Democrats' investigation into the president's dealings with Ukraine. The president insists he did nothing wrong. 
House Speaker Nancy Pelosi called it a sad day as Democrats announced articles of impeachment. I wish the president's actions did not make it necessary. The two charges are narrow in scope, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. There is no mention of bribery, extortion or obstruction of justice, issues Democrats had debated. House Democrats say the president abused his power when he pressured Ukraine to announce an investigation into a political rival, Joe Biden.